Hi friends, what is up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. I am so excited today. We're gonna go try Shake Shack for the first time, which I feel like, I don't know if Shake Shack has like hype around it. I don't know, it, to me it does because I was under the impression there was not a Shake Shack anywhere near me and the other day, Kyle and I were going to get food and I was like, why is there a Shake Shack over there? And there's cars wrapped around the building and I'm like, damn, we gotta try that. And like, we don't even eat that much fast food, but I gotta try it at least once. The menu looks pretty good from what I've seen. I haven't like looked at all of it. Also, I cleaned up today and I found a whole extra pack of gummies I didn't know I had. So, about to eat those before we go. We made it. Now we just have to conquer the ordering. Loki, the least busy I've seen. I know. Two of the Smoky Classic barbecue burgers, crinkle cut fries, a 50 50 lemonade and tea thing. All right. They're sending us off to wait for all that food. Yes. Spot one. There's people in spot yeah. two through four. Well, they gave us our little tea though. While we wait on the food to come, they gave us the uh, half lemonade, half tea. I personally don't like like the whole Arnold Palmer vibe. Kyle loves it. It's my favorite. I feel like with the homemade lemonade, because they make it in store apparently, I might like it because I do like like Chick-fil-A's lemonade, like any sort of homemade lemonade. But... Arnold Palmer is like childhood nostalgia for me. That was my favorite drink. It's actually pretty good yeah. for what it is, but it's very different. It's not like... Mm. And tell that it's like more of a fresh lemonade. I was going to say, it doesn't seem as like fake, like the tea isn't as like syrupy, if that makes sense. The lemonade's coming through a lot on that. Not super I really like that before I mixed it, it looked like a macchiato. You could see the lemonade at the bottom yeah, and the tea like separated cool. on top. But how would you rate it against an Arnold Palmer? Not quite as good. Not quite as it good. It needs a little more tea, then it would be just as good. I think that's probably why I like this a little bit more, because it's like you just practically Pretty lemonade. lemonade yeah. yeah. It is good though. I'm glad they sent us up here to chill because I'd rather wait and have fresh food than it be like a little old yeah, and like, no, definitely. you know. You could easily spike this and it would be delicious, but that's obviously no revolution. We've got Twisted Tea out here been doing that. Twisted Teas are low key better than Arnold Palmer. The flavor of a Twisted Tea is That's ideal. so funny. Kyle would rather drink a um, like no Twisted alcohol. Tea. Yeah, not for like the alcoholic benefit, but just for the taste. Hot dog yep. as well. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. The bag is so cute. And I love that it's paper. It looks like we've got everything. Two burgers, our little hot dog, and a fry. So right. we'll be back for our custard after this if we can still take it in. I, mm -hmm. I don't typically love custard. Like, I'd yeah, rather have ice cream. Super frozen. And yeah, I don't like soft serve ice cream, and I feel like custard's always soft serve. So that doesn't, like, help. We're going to go get out of this little, like, drive through only spot. I just scooped out a little bit because I like to keep it in the fridge and it is quite warm. And I brought like the tiniest little spoon you've ever seen. Hold on, let me find it. I don't know <laughs> what it's from or where I got it, but I have a bunch of them. Anyways. And we're still in the middle the of this heat wave. I it's know. It's literally like It's a little cooler degrees. this week even. It was yeah. like 93, 94 every day last week. This week it's like it's 80, 85, 90. It's 86 right now. And it's like 8 p.m. And the sun's down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I like it. We're nice and loaded up. This is some Randy Watson. All right, we're heating up. Cheers. The purple setting gives you like <coughs> like that's fat, but <coughs> it's also like perfect. About lost our cap. Stuck to my finger. <coughs> Flavor so good. I even remembered Q tips too. <coughs> That's good. It normally we forget at least two out of three things. <coughs> Something. Okay, well, that was everything. This has just been wafting under my nose for the last five minutes. I so know. Good. I'm so excited. We gotta take a thumbnail. We can't forget. We only have one shot with food content because. Blinks, all of it's gone. Exactly. To try one of these fries first. Okay. They look like a perfect crinkle cut fry. They do. They have a bunch of different, like, loaded fry options, but to be honest with you, Cheers. Most of the loaded fries, 
Yeah, pretty good. Tastes like uh, one of like the frozen crinkle cut fries, like a classic. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, she down here already had the first bite of the burger to she make sure it was the okay. First two. She had a first bite of both burgers. Fries are good. Yeah, they're like not too salty, but they're not under salted either. I'm gonna go in on the hot dog next, I think. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. I hope I didn't put too much ketchup. Looks good, like a proper amount. I'm really glad that the like hot dog is actually longer than the bun because I hate just bites of bread with no like hot dog. Yeah, you're a bread dog. hater. She I is know. bread's biggest hater. Or like tortilla. Yeah. I don't know. I like a good <laughs> bread, but if I'm like eating something like this where I'm eating it really for the hot dog, the bun's just included. I don't really want like big like chunks all of, it, of but... It's like when you get a sandwich somewhere and then the edge just doesn't have any filling and I'm like why is the ham only on three quarters of the sandwich? That makes me did not want that in chunk of bread. But you love bread. Yeah, I and I, it doesn't bother me I don't much. dislike bread, I just, I don't know. Something about it. <laughs> Classic dog. Mm. Classic taste. Mm. That's actually really good. When I saw they had a hot dog, I was like, absolutely. I haven't had a hot dog in so long. I've kind of been craving one. Perfect classic hot dog. Mm -hmm. That's what you. That's the Fourth of July in one bite. We're already almost out of this. Might have to swing back through. Might have to get another one of these when we get the root beer float. The barbecue burgers look so good. I don't know where the crispy onions are, but also it's. I do see them. It's okay. just a burger, so it's kind of like you know. I honestly. I like how they wrapped them up in a little paper. I do like that. That does feel they like. They left them open, you know, because everywhere else they just wrap it up all the way. Yeah. They're giving you a nice visual. Shit, obviously, you just showed them that. But. I'm gonna take a bite with the pickle for the culture, but I don't really like pickle on my stuff because I feel like it just tastes like only pickle, and I don't even dislike I think pickle. I, like I just. I my burgers, but on everything. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't tried it in a while, but typically I don't. Cheers. Cheers. I think I actually like the pickle with the barbecue sauce. Classic. Tastes like, you know. This barbecue's like different though. I like it. Yeah. No, that's enjoyable. I like that burger. I don't know how different it is than Wendy's, but. Agreed on the patty itself and like the quality of bacon. When it comes to Wendy's, how they do all their big like baconator with like a bunch of stuff, like the pretzel bun. The I don't know, onions. I see them. They do a bunch of stuff, but there's always a couple things on the Wendy's ones that I feel like I wouldn't like. Okay. I don't even know their menu that well. But. I don't either, but every time I go there and they have like these big posters of like the $12 sandwiches, I'm like, I don't love beer cheese for some reason. Like I love cheese. I don't either. And there will be like beer cheese on it, which I get you can take it off, but they always have something on it that kind of deters me. This barbecue sauce and the pickles are definitely harmonizing a little though. It's pretty good. I can't tell if it's like a sweet barbecue sauce, a little bit sweet. They say smoky. Yeah, it's not too smoky. But no. The bacon quality is kind of mid, but I feel like it's super thin. It's, it's probably like microwave bacon. Oh, that's what it's giving. I feel like I'd just rather not have it than the bacon. The bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know though. Is it supposed to be like a Wendy's? It looks fancier than a Wendy's. I mean, it is fast food and the prices are like of Wendy's esque, you know? Yeah. Everything kind of takes store bought, but like the ones that you'd want to buy from the store. You no know? facts. It's like the good store bought stuff. Well, that was pretty good. We might run back through there and get um, a little root beer float or like a orange cream soda. I'm not mad at that. It wasn't, it's not the best food in the world. I mean, I'm satisfied. I think it's overpriced, but I think everything is overpriced. Well, this is officially the most expensive one scoop of custard I've ever bought because what the hell? This is literally 99% soda. And when I asked for root beer float, they are out of root beer, so I had to get the orange one, which is fine. I was fine with either, but. When they handed me that, I was like, what the hell is I that? I need to get better at being like, 
Never mind. Are you kidding? Actually, because like these corporations can handle that. I just wanted to try it with them for the video, but this is actually pathetic. I hate to say it, and I don't really hate to say it. It Six. honestly looks like there's more ice cream than there is because the foam. Yeah. Can no. they, you can't even see. I was like 650 and there's it's literally orange soda with like one scoop of custard. That's so insane. Like this doesn't even fit in here. It, what are you gonna scoop out of it? Not the ice cream, because there isn't any. This is easily the biggest flop of the night. That is horrible. Yeah. That's a ripper. Do you eat Shake Shack frequently? Is it supposed to be like this? It doesn't look like it in the pictures, but we know that's always, you know. Uh, we're exploding. <laughs> it's good too. Fancy. Like, what is it? I think it's fancy. Fanta. What the hell? All right. That was Anyways, pathetic. I'm going to Speedway to get my ice, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Save your six dollars on the shake. For sure. I feel like making a shake at home is always a better deal though. They charge like out the ass. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. Join the fam if you're new. And Cheers. check out this collection. Yes. Shout out to Blaze Brand. My brand. I don't know how you turn off the glow mode for nonchalantness, but also. <laughs> but for vibes, not necessarily not for nonchalant. The That's vibes clouds. are good. Mm. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love